pious aloe enriched uranium, what it is and why we need it. U.S. officials this week said that the development of commercially advanced nuclear reactors to help battle global warming and strengthen national security will require a better supply of the correct sort of nuclear fuel. The U.S. Department of Energy has issued a call for ideas from companies that may be interested in engaging in a program to secure the availability of highest halo enriched uranium, or HALU. The data gathered will be utilized to create a report for Congress. It's also possible that the Energy Department will take the next step and require companies to submit more comprehensive plans for supplying nuclear fuel. President Joe Biden signed a $1 trillion infrastructure bill last month that includes $2.5 billion for the Energy Department to launch the HALU Availability Program. The purpose is to produce enough high halo enriched uranium for civilian domestic research and commercial application in the next generation of advanced reactors, which are currently being developed. According to some officials, advanced reactors are a great asset to have in our collective battle against climate change. If we don't move immediately to assure a substantial and diverse supply of HALU, reactor demonstration and deployment projects will not be fueled in time to help us delay the effects of climate change. Some elected representatives believe the HALU availability program would help the United States preserve our nuclear supply chain, create high-paying industrial jobs, and reaffirm U.S. leadership on the international arena. Nuclear power generates about 20% of the country's energy, which is generated by just under 100 nuclear power plants. According to the Energy Department, current reactor fuel contains uranium that has been enriched up to 5%. HALU enriched between 5% and 20% is used in advanced reactors, which is required to generate greater power in advanced reactors that are smaller than ordinary nuclear power reactors. Making nuclear power facilities economically competitive and altering public perceptions that nuclear power is dangerous are the two main challenges that U.S. officials confront in reviving nuclear power. Nuclear power opponents argue that fuel production facilities, as well as power plants, are prone to accidents and sabotage, and that nuclear material may be used to manufacture bombs. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps our production and distribution efforts.